Let's make this ultra creamy mac and cheese. Hi, you're watching Plating It with Wendy and today I've got my mini me with me. And this is the ultimate comfort food, so let's get started. Let's start by boiling a large pot of water and salting it really generously. We're going to be boiling about a box and a half of macaroni, which is approximately 615 grams, till just al dente. Now let's start on that luscious cheesy sauce. For that we're going to be going in first with a quarter cup of butter. Once the butter is melted down, we're going to add equal parts of all-purpose flour, so a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and whisk that really vigorously till it's completely smooth. Now we're going to slowly start incorporating our milk. We're going to be using a total of four cups of milk here, but you're going to add them one at a time and whisk in between. This is going to ensure that you'll end up with a silky, smooth, cheesy sauce at the end. This sauce technique begins with forming a roux and then adding in the milk to form what's called a bechamel or a white sauce. Once we have a smooth sauce base, let's start spicing this up. First, let's add about one teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, and this is gonna add an incredible flavor. We're then gonna add in one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and this is a traditional mac and cheese spice. Now let's go in with some freshly grated pepper, and for a little bit of kick, we're going to add about one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Let's whisk this all together so that the sauce gets well flavored. Let's lower the heat and for the real deal, let's start adding in the cheeses. We're going to go in with some freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese. It's good to go in with the sharp cheddar to bring out that lovely flavor. To that, we're going to add some freshly grated Gruyere cheese. This is a classic cheese to add to a mac and cheese. It's always better to freshly grate the cheese rather than go in with pre-grated cheese because pre-grated cheese most often has additives which prevents it from melting smoothly. Let's give this a stir and watch the cheese melt away and give us that lovely thick sauce. Let's add in the drained macaroni and give it a gentle stir so that it gets well coated with that delicious cheesy sauce. Grab a large oven-safe casserole dish and begin pouring in half of your mac and cheese. Let's smooth it over with the spoon to create an even layer. And now we're going to go in with a secret little surprise. We're going to add in about 250 grams of freshly grated mozzarella. And this is going to give us an incredible cheese pull once we've baked the mac and cheese. We're going to pour in the remaining mac and cheese and once again smooth over the top Finally top it with the remaining cheddar and gruyere so that once we bake it we have a lovely cheesy top. Let's pop this mac and cheese into the oven which is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to bake it till the cheese is nice and melty and crusty on the top. To prevent any spillage while we bake this delicious mac and cheese, we're going to place it into a large baking sheet before we pop it in the oven. We're going to let it rest for five minutes before we enjoy it. Oh my goodness! Now that's what we call a mac and cheese. Can't wait to give this a taste. Let's dig into it. Yes. Wow, see that stretch. Mmm. <laughs> hey, and before we go, if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed already, subscribe and if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time we upload new videos. And while you're at it, smash on that like button and leave us your comments down below. Thanks for watching. See ya.